Rich Brown and Habibi, their best friend. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be trying the new Huda Beauty Power Bullet Cream Glow lipsticks. Uh, I have all the shades and we also have uh, the lip liners. Now some of these are too light for me, I'm not going to try all the lip liners but I'll try and do some combinations as we get into the video. I get so 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 excited when Huda comes out with new releases. Honestly there's just such top quality products. I haven't tried these but I'm just like I've seen it on other people and they look bomb guys and I'm all about that comfy lip vibe so <laughs> I think these are just gonna be right on my street. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Stephanie T. So thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Right, I'm not gonna blabber on too much. I'm gonna take off what I have on already. So these have a juicy sh so these have a juicy shine. Oh, they're ultra comfy and they're all inclusive shades. They have creamy twist on the Huda Beauty OG Power Bullet Matte Formulas, which I do really love. They're like the perfect your lips but better nudes. And they feel like you're wearing nothing at all. It's got Hydra Berry to lock in moisture, sea fennel, which is rich in minerals, and vitamins A, C, and E that condition smooth. Um, so we have 14 shades in total. You've got seven pretty pinks from the Sweet Nudes and Seven Spicy Browns from the Bossy Browns collections. And I actually realized on the packaging, the outer packaging, that these are separated into light, medium, and rich uh, colors, which I found quite useful. We have more medium colors, four lights, four riches, and, and six mediums. So we're gonna obviously start with the light ones first, and I might need to use a lip liner. So I just swatched all the lip liners. I'll put them on the screen right now. Um, they're actually very, very creamy. I feel like the lighter shades are more creamier than the darker ones. I do wish there were more darker browns because I don't see anything that's like my MAC cork. And my MAC cork lip pencil is like my favorite go-to lip liner. And I've also included it in the sw swatch because like literally when I reach out for a lip liner for my lighter nudes, I always reach out for cork and I don't feel like there's anything like it, you know, that's the same tone and the same like richness. Um, so I'm a, I'm not gonna say I'm a disappointed, but I was really hoping for a color like that in the lip liner collection, but there are still some pretty browns. I think my favorite color so far would be warm brown, but it does have a little bit of like, it has a bit of a terracotta to it. And then I also like sandy beige, but I feel like that'll be too light for me. And these are really hard to take off. Like I'm having to rub my arm off with a makeup remover wipe. So I feel like long wear wise would be really get great. So I think let's see how warm brown looks on me since it's the one that really stands out. <laughs> Oh my god, they're like so creamy. You have to be gentle with them because they're so creamy. When I was swatching them, they're kind of like breaking. To be honest, this is like my lips but better. I mean, I could just wear this on its own. Yeah, it's so pretty. And then the first shade that we're gonna try is Empress. It's a very light nude. I could definitely get away with this combo. It's definitely more on the lighter side, but I love the formula. It's so shiny and glossy and really really comfy guys so yeah that is empress with warm brown okay next up we have this shade raja oh my god i was looking at some of the names and i love some of these names i feel like i'm gonna love this shade it looks darker than it i feel like it will come out as oh my god this is another nice shade like i would definitely pair it with a lip liner but i could really get away with it on its own so that is raja love it love love it i can't rave enough about the formula like this is the kind of formula i've been into lately it's really really annoying with masks though hopefully in 
the near future we no longer have to wear masks <laughs> and we can rock these shades because these will definitely uh, transfer which is normal but they look so lush and so beautiful on the lips yeah i'm just obsessed guys they are so comfortable no stickiness they almost feel like a lip balm but with really nice color payoff so the next shade we have is angel this definitely looks light so i'm gonna take uh so i'm gonna take the lip liner deep rose so this one I mean, you can't fault the lip liner. It's so buttery. And this is what Angel looks like. It's definitely really light. It's actually really pretty. It doesn't go with this eye look, but that's what Angel looks like with a deep rose lip liner. The next shade we have is Buttercup and it's the last shade in the light kind of range. Um, I'm going to try a Sandy Beige lip liner. Mm, yeah, Sandy Beige is not doing anything for me, like, especially my top lip, it's looking a little ashy. So I guess we're going to go with a little bit of warm brown. I thought I had to sharpen these lip pencils, but you can twist the bottom up and it pops out. So handy, like, because these are so creamy, they go down quickly. And I was like, oh, I need to sharpen this now, but I twisted it up and it twists up, guys. I'm so happy. This is what Buttercup looks like. Can't get over how creamy they are. This is a pretty shade. Would I reach for it? I don't think so, but this is what Buttercup looks like with a bit of warm brown lip pencil. My skin is looking extra glowy today. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the medium section. Mm. So the first shade is called Money Maker. I don't think I need lip liners for these ones. These are the kind of lippies I would bring to work and wear in the office. They're so subtle and like comfortable and you know it's not it's not out there like most of the time when i'm in the office i wear glosses so this this will just be perfect honestly and the shade is bomb it's what money maker looks like okay so the next shade we have is called baby face i feel like this is like a mauvey kind of shade it's definitely more a cool tone lipstick but that's what baby face looks like Next shade we have is called Hustler. This definitely looks more on the warmer side. They're so comfortable. Yeah, I really, really like this shade. I definitely would wear this one. It's really nice for every day. I'm gonna use a bit of the Terracotta lip liner. And then I'm gonna use the shade Honey Bun. This one definitely does look more on the lighter side. I really like this combo. Terracotta with honey bun. It almost looks like my lip color, but better. Oh, I love this one. Next shade we have is called Sweet Cheeks. Oh, they're so easy to apply, honestly. But this is another shade that's like my lips were better. Like this one's going in my bag. I love this one. This is Sweet Cheeks. I feel like if you're a gloss person or you just like those tinted lip balms, like you need these because these are so good. And then the final shade in the medium section is Gold Digger, which looks very cool. This is what Gold Digger looks like. It's definitely a really pretty cool tone brown if you're into that kind of vibe. Okay, the next shade we have is called Boss Chick. This is a really pretty kind of like brick brown and it's quite rich too. But yeah, it's a really pretty deep brown. The next shade we have is called Self Made, which oh my God, looks like a true brown. Oh my god, I'm actually so shocked about the pig pigmentation, like considering that it's more like a glossy finish. That's what self-made looks like. Oh, it's such a pretty brown, honestly. Look at the shine. Look at the shine, people. Okay, so the next shade we have is a more. Ooh, it almost looks like a very, very deep brown red. 
I mean, pigmentation is on point. Look at that, it's so comfortable. I don't know how many times I've said it. I'm so sorry, guys. But like, if I'm going for a deep color, I wouldn't mind reaching out for this because I know like it's comfortable, it's pigmented, and it's just like a beautiful brown. Self-made and a mole, they're just like stunning dark shades. And especially for like deeper skin tones, they'll almost be like a nude, like beautiful nudes. Right, and then the next shade, let's try rich brown lip liner for the next shade. And then this shade is called Habibi. I, I feel like I'm gonna really like this shade. Oh my God, it's... Oh. Ah, got some of my teeth. Eh. <gasps> this lip combo. Rich, brown and Habibi, they're best friends. Like they're best friends. What a beautiful combo to finish this video on. Honestly, this is so gorgeous. I would literally wear it out. I don't care if it's like darker than my usual kind of look, but this combination is so stunning. I love that it's like an ombre kind of vibe. I love it. Honestly, the lip liners in terms of formula, they're like 10 out of 10 and they're really hard to wipe off. So I feel like with longevity, um, it's gonna be really good. The only thing I wish is that they had more like, like true brown shades, kind of like cork. Um, but that would be my only feedback. But these, there are some beautiful shades. I feel like, terracotta onwards i can use but anything lighter than that wouldn't wouldn't work for me and then honestly the lipsticks the lipsticks are like 10 out of 10 guys and because like i've been more into like that glossy finish and honestly even when i was going into the office i would always have like a pimp a really pigmented gloss that i could wear every day and like these are just exactly it if you're like a more glossy person or if you want to top a lip a liquid lipstick with these like these are just stunning they're really pigmented and I love the shades that she has. I think my favorite would be Sweet Cheeks, Raja and Habibi. Sweet Cheeks, Raja and Habibi. Oh, but then I also loved Money Maker. Money Maker's really nice too. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this try on video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite shade is. Is this something that you're gonna grab or you're gonna give it a miss? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching as usual, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.